Hey everyone, I've got Elliot Johnston with me. Elliot, of course, um, riding the crest of a wave, uh, signed with the New York Mets midway through the year, went to the States, has been living the dream the last few months uh, and has just arrived back in New Zealand in MIQ. Elliot, thanks for your time, mate. Um, talk us through this experience, man. We saw some photos, obviously, on some of your social media and, and whatnot, but what was it like living your baseball dream out in the States the last, last few months? Uh, definitely an awesome experience. Obviously, it's something that, you know, you've grown up, I guess since a young age the wanting to do and i guess certain people like scott campbell obviously was signed with the toronto blue jays and kind of pa uh, paved the way and i guess i kind of took that on board and i wanted to do the same thing um and then obviously the met gave me an opportunity earlier oh yeah earlier this year to sign with them um yeah headed over there to port st lucie in florida where their uh, spring training complexes um got over there got amongst it all and yeah, now back in uh, MIQ, based in Hamilton. <laughs> so, mate, like, yeah, tell us what you, you did over there, because you obviously you weren't playing games, you went sort of midway through the, the year. Um, what was it that you were, were working on? Um, what have you been able to do in the, in the months since? Uh, so once I got over there, obviously met with all the different staff that they have, um, and from there just got involved with the trainings, and then uh, in the afternoons we'd have games against obviously other organizations. So that was usually my day, get into the field, um, you know, go through your activation stuff, get your body loose for the day, go out, stretch, throw. From there, if you had a bullpen, you'd go and throw a bullpen. And then from there, you'd head into the into the gym, get your uh, workout in. And then if we had a game, shower up and go out to the field and watch the boys play. And, and mate, the the Mets experience. Did you get to interact with any of the you know any of the the Mets as we know it? Did you get to trip around at all, or was it just purely up there at their spring training base? Uh just at the spring training base. But we did have uh, two major league players rehabbing down at our complex. So got to uh, brush shoulders with Cameron Maven. Obviously, he's a big name within MLB. I think he's had a quite a substantial. Uh, period of time in the majors and also uh jose martinez was down there obviously uh rehabbing too so got to interact with them a little bit talk about it um they were kind of buzzed out you know i was from new zealand halfway across the world but uh no it was, it was a cool experience that's for sure and mate, like I said, living the dream it's not like you're just signing with any old major league team the mets uh high profile organization uh what, what was uh, that sort of experience like are they you know um presume everything's sort of first rate is it over there yeah, no, definitely. Um, definitely a cool experience. Uh, I guess like the biggest, um, you know, starstruck moment, I guess it could be was, you know, walking into the locker room the first day and seeing, you know, New York Mets uniforms all around the building. Um, and then obviously, you know, coming across to two big time big league players within the locker room. You're like, oh, wow, this is this is actually real. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Um, mate, the COVID situation, you know, we're obviously reeling from it back here now, having had a pretty good run of things uh, for the last couple of years, but but now back into a, a lockdown. Um, for people in America, it's been something they've dealt with on a, on a daily basis, but almost sort of getting back to normal over there, is it? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, everybody out there is just living their best lives. I could, it's the best way I could put it. Um, yeah, everyone's out there doing everything they want to. It's definitely uh, different from back here. Um, when you guys obviously got the the one case recently and uh, the country went into lockdown, I told some of the American boys and they couldn't believe it. So, yeah, it's definitely uh, definitely different from what they're used to over there. Mate, um, in terms of your own situation, uh, I think you know you you'd had your injury um, playing in the ABL last last summer and and didn't didn't get a whole lot of um, game time as a result. And then I think you've picked up another injury, uh, albeit not too serious. Hopefully. Um, uh, with the Mets and you're rehabbing now, are you? Yeah, so obviously uh, got injured leading up to the, the ABL uh, uh, competition last year. Um, that put me out for the entire season, unfortunately. Uh, Rehab that, came back, obviously signed with the Mets. I was all healthy. Um, and then, yeah, just a slight little tweak over there. Nothing too serious, so just, just rehabbing it now. And then obviously I'll be building up to uh, spring training 22. And so, mate, that leads us in, obviously, to summer. You're back home, presumably, to see your, your family, partner, and everything. And um, what, what's sort of on the agenda while you're back home? Do you have any plans? Is ABL something that's a, a possibility again this summer? And um, and when do you head back? Uh, definitely going to be soaking up uh, New Zealand summer. That's for sure. I haven't uh, had one of those in probably three years now. 
Um, so I'm looking forward to that, but obviously I got to, you know, work on some things for the Mets, obviously get bigger, stronger, hopefully gain some velocity, get healthy. Um, ABL, you know, it's a bit, bit up in the air at the moment, obviously with the whole COVID situation between not even just New Zealand, Australia, no, having no travel bubble. And obviously the amount of cases that they're having over there is, I guess, kind of putting a halt to it. So obviously just want to focus on uh, those little things for me heading over to spring training so I can have a, a full uh, healthy season over there. Awesome, mate. When, when would you head back for spring training? I'm not too sure. I think somewhere around March. Well, I haven't been given an exact uh, date yet, but usually it's around there. Awesome, man. All right. Well, look, we appreciate you um, giving us some of your time, man. We're obviously following your progress closely and happy birthday for last week, eh? <laughs> appreciate it. Thank you.